Welcome to What Is It Wednesday. We have the Philodendron UPI. It is a rare and sought after species of Philodendron known for its beautiful, unique leaves. With a wider bottom, skinny bottleneck, and up to bunny-like ears as it's mature. Vibrant, glossy green that can grow up to several feet long in the right conditions. It's low maintenance and can be a great choice for indoor plant enthusiasts looking to add a unique and exotic touch to their collection. The prices have come down on these in the past few years, making them very affordable, but I still don't think you're going to find them in any big box stores anytime soon. I got this one a few months ago at a smaller local plant shop, and I've already had one largest new leaf unfurl. I'm excited to watch it grow, and when it gets a little bit bigger and starts to produce a few more nodes, I'm going to stake it up because that's how these like to grow, by attaching themselves to trees and structures for support so we can see how big we can get it to grow. Here we can see another new leaf forming. Let's say the last one took several weeks to grow, unfurl, and then harden off. So, and that's in the middle of winter. This plant is native to South America and it thrives in warm, humid environments like the rainforests of Ecuador. So, the care needs are going to be a temperature in the range of 65 to 80 degrees and a high humidity area, 60% or higher, or you might need a humidifier. Um, water when the top layer dries out, top inch or so, and definitely bright indirect light. That's how this plant will thrive. And for soil, you're definitely going to want a well draining, chunky, aeroid, tropical plant mix. Unless you live in a hot, dry climate, you would want something a little more less chunky and maybe some peat moss to keep it retaining the moisture. It's also going to benefit from a support structure such as a moss pole to help it climb upwards and grow bigger leaves. And then I would fertilize in the summer and spring months so that it'll get it to its maximum potential. Let's talk about propagation. There's a couple ways to propagate the plant. As with most philodendrons, they will grow their stems out and there'll be nodes in between the leaves. This one's nowhere near ready for any chopping between nodes, but it'll be down there in between the leaves. You find a node cut between the nodes and you would place with a leaf in water until the roots grow. You could also do air layering where you wrap moss around the node and wrap it with plastic or they make little contraptions now and then you would be able to then chop the plant once you see roots have grown and then immediately put it in soil. For pest prevention, you want to make sure the leaves stay clean and dust free. Always check the undersides for any little pesky pests. And you could rinse with soapy solution. I make up a special solution. And 
I always use the stomach in my plants just because I have over a hundred plants and that's the only way to keep most things at bay when you have a larger collection. The UPI is considered endangered in its natural habitat due to deforestation and habitat loss. Conservation efforts are underway to protect the species in the wild. Like many other philodendron species, the UPI has been used in hybridization efforts to create new and interesting cultivars to create different leaf shapes, colors, and growth habits, such as variegated, which I see going for big books. Let me know if you have this plant or it's on your wish list. And don't forget to like and follow. Check out the other What Is It Wednesday plants.